Welcome back to another episode of Stasia Expert Mode, where I've just worked up a scanner, and that was pretty simple. And just about to whip up the blank scanner module. Um, and another one of these would actually be nice, assuming that recipe is still just a diamond and one of them. Cool, and it's going to help us finding... Well... Uh, can we get another one? How many of these can we get? short cactus paste because this is going to be handy for finding netherite as well as just valuables in general so we can I think does this make a block module no I think it had to be stone and we probably want a couple of these because you can change what these are looking for so one thing and maybe three block ones four block ones that's probably not a bad idea Dear, I don't think there's anything else we really want. Increases the range of scans. Maybe one of them. Um, so one, two, two, three of these. We'll make one a one for finding rare ores. And then this one, I would like to think that I had an ender pearl somewhere. I would like to think I did, and I probably do. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So if we're going to have this guy, we need a way of charging him. And I think the best way to do that, well, the current way to do that is probably this charging station. I don't know what else we've got. I would assume that this kind of works like a normal charger, so maybe we could make one of them. But I think the immersive engineering one's going to be cooler. Definitely more expensive though. But I think I have the stuff, so let's have a look at making one of these. Uh, we needed... Now that was a MV wire connector, so we just need some electrum. Hey, some of that as well, I believe. So one of these, uh, and then a machine frame. We're missing another machine frame, which I think we've got in here. Yes. And another lumium. Easy. Cool. One of these dudes, and if we happen to have in here another LV wire connector and insulated wire. This guy's going to want to go over here. Now, I've been having real trouble with this stuff. Um, like these extractors seem to sometimes work and sometimes not work. Which is not great. Like sometimes that'll extract and then sometimes it won't and I don't know why, but these these extraction pipes, they're bad. They are bad and I don't like them. But we can maybe chuck that there. Uh, that's not going to look great there. Um, if we put you here, no, because we need to put the charger on them. Hmm. Where can you go and get power? If you were there, you can open that chest. This isn't a great place for this guy, to be honest. But it'll do for now. So insulated wire up to that. And we can now charge our charger. Our scanner, rather. Grab our scanner. Put him in here. And he's going to slowly charge. He currently... Oh, he's fully charged already. Wow, that was quick. Um... Uh, no scanning module, so shift right click to open up the modules. We can say, find me expensive ores. Ooh, that's new, it tells you what they are. That's really cool, that's changed. Um, but then we can use this on our blocks and we'll use that for finding um, some Tetra stuff. So it looks like we need to convert this to a thing. And I wanna make this a range extender. So I really want to find an ender pearl. Oh, I'm sure there is one over here somewhere. Boom. I should probably take them. And one of these and one of these makes a scanner module thing. Some ender pearls in there. Shift right click on this dude. Nice. Now he's got a bigger range. What are you going to find me? Stratus Quartz Tin. He's not reaching down to Diamond. But that's pretty cool. It's really going to help mining. And my aim is 
Actually, we're running low on rockets, aren't we? My aim is to use this to find some more of those tetra places, because I'd like to get the netherite hammer. Um, and we can also go find some ancient debris and then use our scanner to help us get a bunch of that really fast, which is going to be really cool. All right, so we're here. We grab our scanner block module. And I think we just right click it on, I mean, let's go for a forged pillar. Seems pretty common. Now it's set to forged pillar. Um, if we check them up here, we'll take out the, the rear oars. And hey, that's still showing rear oars. Shouldn't that not show them? Um, get out of here. Uh, that's odd. It shouldn't have shown oars. What if we take that completely out? There we go. That's better. So we can see there's the bit over there, which we already knew about. And this one, which you already know about. So I guess if we head um, this way, and it might even be worth going to another cold biome. We can see this one over here that we also already know about. So that's not that helpful. If we open up our map, so I believe it's only going to be in this area. So I wonder if we look for another cold biome actually, because we might have discovered all of the ones that exist here. Um, and we can probably do that. Now let's just chuck this back in inactive. Okay, cool. I think it just accidentally showed us that. Now I don't know if I've actually been over there. Hey, that could be a new one. It is very hard to actually see what's going on when it's like that though. So it looked like there was something... Something over this way. Hey, here we go. And hopefully in here, because what we need is that second combustion chamber upgrade. And oh, is this all this is? Oh, all right, all right. So maybe we'll get lucky. Hmm, that worked. Uh, a thermal cell. Not what we want. And I guess actually what I should do is set the scanner to look for those crates. Just popped over to a different biome. Um, just use nature's compass, and if we have a look up the top. Uh, so there was the mine where we were looking. We're now over here in a snowy tiger. And yeah, scanner came in pretty handy. I did have to dig down a little bit before it showed up. But hopefully somewhere in here. I mean, hopefully we can get in here. Well, oh, got some honing. So this is one of these extractor ones, and my inventory is full of stuff again. Um, so we can charge up thermal cells. This guy's on. We did get a thermal cell too, so while we're here, charge him up. Uh, but I'm not seeing... Not really seeing the thing I'm after. Which is those crates that have stuff in them. Hmm. And... Look at that. It's definitely easier than uh, hoping for the best. Okay, so... Sure if I click on there... And oh, you can do it to both. So we've got a forged crate and a forged container. We can actually see inside this guy as well, which I don't know if I don't know if that is intentional. But if we check this module in here, perfect. I think that's better. We can see there's a crate there, a container I actually might have missed. Some crates, and we know there's nothing else. Oh, there's a forge hammer right here too, above a workbench. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But then hopefully, hopefully one of these has got the thing we need. And actually thinking about it, 
Thinking about it, I think I left the combustion thing. Hey, that wasn't even what was in there. What? Yeah, it says there's different stuff in there. Huh. Weird. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, thinking about it, I le definitely left the combustion, other combustion thing. I think. Yeah, I left it in the other four chambers, so we're going to have to go back and get that anyway. And another one? Surely this time. That was metal scrap. And no, no luck. Um, did we get all the... Get all the stuff from here? Uh, take out the pillar one. I'm still finding pillars, but that's okay. Looks like... Oh, there was a crate somewhere. Let's go for another scan. Oh, there's crates over there, so that must be another one over that way. And no luck in this place either. Um, we'll try for one more. And then I think we'll just accept the fact that uh, it's going to take a while to uh, upgrade our Tetra stuff to the top tier. Really, I just want the four chamber back at the base. Finally, uh, it was a crate that was actually like right down here for some reason. Uh, that took a long time. This was like the third one since the last recording. Um, and I found this seeping bedrock. And I'm under the impression that those things we got hammer into bedrock to extract minerals i think that's what this is for right and then well, maybe we need to hammer it with like a good hammer i feel like this isn't gonna be no oh we can put that down anywhere All right, there might be a different way we we do that. And excavating down here is a really bad idea. I've already burned myself in lava a couple of times. So we got this guy. I just need to go and find where I put my last thing. Um, I think I'll leave a waystone down here, right? Um, in case we want to come back here. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for a sleep. Organize my inventory because... We got some stuff. I started noticing this ender dust, which can be turned into ender pearls, which is pretty cool. Um, good source of ender pearls. So yeah, back in a bit, and we'll try and get ourselves, of course, try and get ourselves the final tier of tetra hammer, and that'll be kind of cool. I don't actually know if there's anything gated behind that, but at least we'll have the best one. Now, I realised I was actually one netherite short from being able to upgrade my hammer, so. Uh, Scanning for some ancient debris. And this is definitely the way to do it. Uh, at least until we get to the point where we can like automatically AFK mine it with lasers and stuff. But that, that's probably a little way away. Bit of mucking around to get here, but uh, here we go. So we'll chuck a thermal cell on this guy. Um, I think this is actually a different... <laughs> different forward chamber and uh no mate uh we'll chuck in these combustion things and i might just separate them in case there's like a bug where it eats one because these were pretty hard to get so combustion chamber upgrades nice we check in well we go in here we get our obsidian hammer and we should now be able to perfect Netherite on one side. Netherite on the other. This is now a... This is tier 6. I thought this was a tier 7. Huh. This is like the highest tier there is. Uh, well, this is netherite, so we don't want to go any higher than this. Um, I think we can now enchant this guy with Silk Touch. 
which I've got this book that has a bunch of enchants on it, but this will be fine. Now his silk touch, and I think that means... We can now take this forge hammer. Oh, actually, let's get the upgrades out. Just in case they don't get silk touched away. You never know. You never know. Awesome. We have a forged hammer. Uh, let's, let's start chucking the stuff back in here. Um, and we can take this back to our base now. And set up our own thing. Like, we can grab this. Perfect. We can grab like a bunch of these pillars. <laughs> and a bunch of these platforms because these look pretty cool too. Perfect. And these aren't really used for anything, but um, cool. Right, let's go set up in our mess. You know what? We're grabbing this one too. Hey, we can grab this. All right, back at the base. Um, we've got a backpack full of Tetra stuff. Um, those are some very nosy cows. And I think it's time we make a little building um, for, for holding the Tetra stuff. It's been a while since I've done a time lapse. I kind of initially thought I'd be doing like one for every episode, but it turns out that takes way too long. And I, I don't have heaps of time to record at the moment, so that's why the episodes are a little bit few and far between. Well, compared to what they used to be. Um, so yeah, I think it's time to build a little bit of a building, just like a, a workshop, some kind of workshop, uh, not entirely sure what it's going to be like, but we're going to use this Tetra stuff, we'll set up the workbench, um, I even flogged a container, we've got some transfer units, probably just for decoration really, um, and yeah, I guess we'll build something, I'm thinking here. I'm thinking on this little bit because we'll see it from the house. It'll kind of fill in this area a little bit. And then we can have like a pathway yeah, for future expansion. So let's uh let's build a thing. Alright, I think this turned out okay. Um just a quick time lapse there. Uh nothing too detailed. Kind of a, a box, like puddles around the side, using the vertical slabs that we get, uh, which is quite cool. There's even like a slight, uh, like, position thickness difference uh, between the panes and uh, the, the slabs, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And yeah, uh, using some shroom lights just for some lighting in here. Got a couple of transfer units. These aren't actually really going to be used for doing anything. Just just some kind of decorations. Uh, tried putting like quartz blocks as pillars uh, in the corner, but it, it ended up not working too well. I just uh, really wasn't a fan of it. Yeah, but I thought it needed something else, but I think the, the platforms look okay. Now the big problem with this stuff is you can only mine it with a tetra hammer and it's, uh, it's pretty slow to mine. So when you misplace a block, uh, it's a bit of a pain. But yeah, forge hammer with the two combustion upgrades. We've now got a tier seven hammer. Sitting at the base. Apparently there's something you can do with these Chthonic Extractors um, to, oh, not that, um, to kind of make like a mining tool that, yeah. And this kind of gives you like a pickaxe that Mine's multiple things at a time, but if we do that, we're going to lose uh, lose some some stuff. And I've actually, actually, let's try it, because I've got another pick. It's diamond. Um, it has fortune on it. I think I got this one mixed up with this one originally. But if we were to get this diamond one, and let's try this extractor thing. And now it's... Uh, I think this mines multiple blocks at once. Um, oh, I see. I see how that works. Interesting. And I guess, hey, let's upgrade the other side. Do netherite as well. Um, 
This guy probably needs mending on him too. Actually, I think I've got a spare mending book. So we will chuck a pickaxe head. Nice. And uh, I think I've got another mending. There's a mending book. Can we enchant? Uh, we can't enchant that. We can enchant this side. No, it only goes on the handle. Cool. And honing available. Um, potency. I'm going to assume that honing the potency of the extractor, increasing the amount of blocks it breaks. Sure. I think it'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, I don't use it on this, but to see how good that gets. But hey. That's pretty cool. We've got ourselves a, a, a forge back at the base. A little bit of landscaping to do, maybe to tidy it up, but uh, nice. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. Next episode, we're going to come back and maybe it's magic time. Maybe next time it's actually magic time. We'll see how we go. <laughs> anyway, it's been classic stuff, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next project.